this video I will talk about the assets in the library and how to add an asset to the library. The library holds media, video sequences and groups to use from project to project. So I'm going to click on the library. And in the library you can see a lot of music folders and theme folders. We'll start with the theme. So if you expand on this folder you'll see that each theme holds an animated title, a basic title and a lot of callouts. So I'm going to click on the animated title and then I'm going to right click on it and add to timeline at playhead. The first thing that Camtasia does when you start to create your track is ask you the editing dimensions. I would uh, always click on YouTube because that's where I save my videos to. Make sure that you have keep aspect ratio ticked you can change the background color and then I click OK. And here is that animated title. I'm going to play it in the canvas or preview page here. And there you can see the background moving and the text there, enter title here. So it is a group of two segments. So it's background and the text and to expand the group I'm going to click on the plus and here you can see the text. So to alter the text you just need to double click on it there. It comes up in your text box up here. Now it's already highlighted so I'm going to just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and I'm going to type in my name. Okay now I've done Patricia Tormey introduction to class one. And it looks like it's just Patricia Tormey and there's no introduction to class one. And the reason why that is is because the text box isn't big enough. So you just need to expand the text box. OK, it's way too big. So I need to go back here and I want to edit it. So I'm going to click into the box and go control A to select all the text. And then I'm going to resize it. So I'm going to bring it down a size 36. I don't like the color, so I'm going to change the color. So it's basically anything that's available to you, the same as in Word or whatever. So I'm sticking with Organa, that's okay. And that's that. Again, you can see the changes that have taken place there. You can have control over the box now, the text box that it's in. There's two radio buttons in the, bu in the middle of the box. So the left one, if you just click on it, you can move the text box anywhere on the screen. The right radio button, when you hover your mouse over, it turns to a green button. So you click on that, hold your left mouse button down, and that means you can rotate it any anywhere you want. So I'm going to leave it like that and move it down to the corner. So let's look at that in the playhead. And there it is there again. That's fine. Now, another thing that I like to use from the library, I'm just going to close down that theme, is the music. I like the music in the background. So I'm going to use this music, la di da and in each music you get a long, a full song, intro, long and a medium and a short song. I'm going to use the intro so I'm going to select it and then I'm going to right click on it and add to timeline at playhead just like we did with the other ones. Now you can see I've got two tracks here. This one went back to one group and this is on track two. And you can see that the music expands beyond the title so let's play that and see what it looks like. <laughs> not sure I like that now I'm gonna go back to the end of the animated title I have the audio track highlighted and I'm going to split it and you could cut it but I prefer to split it because you could change your mind then so I'm going to just delete that section another thing I'm not too keen on is the sound it's too loud so I'm going to highlight the audio track and click on audio here and I'm gonna do a fade in and a fade out and you can see the changes that have taken place there. I'm also going to turn the volume down and just have it subtly in the background and you can see by the green line going down. Let's play that and see what that one sounds like. Yeah, that's okay for me, I like that. 
Now I want to group these again and keep them together safe. So I'm going to click on track one, hold my shift key down on my keyboard and click on track two. Then I'm going to right click and group, or you can use the shortcut keyboard control and G. And there it is as one group. The next thing I'd like to do, I'm going back to my library. Next thing I'd like to do is right click on it and add asset to library. You can see I made one previously and here's this one now. So every time you start your video, this is one of the things that you can put at the start and you can just change the text to suit whatever subject you're teaching. It would be a good idea too to create one for the end. Thank you for watching. Bye.